Hello and welcome. This is Super Lumi Live. Uh, I'm commentating a world record that I just got uh, today. Uh, I'm doing this commentary for the purpose of. Uh, I just wanted to commentate over it because I didn't have the ability to. Uh, my mic was turned off because I was in the residence hall lobby. Anyways, Super Lumi Live is a 2D platform at really high pace. Uh, the main goal is to. Just get to the end of each world uh, as quickly as possible while also collecting enough silvers uh, to make it through the end of the game. Uh, so you need at least 450 silver or 45 gold to reach the final level, but uh, it's faster to get the 450 silver. Uh, the main mechanic that is unique is there's a double jump uh, at once while you're in the air either after jumping or falling off of a platform. Uh, uh, a major factor in completing this game is how quickly you can route in all of the uh, different silvers that Silvers are quicker to get, which silvers you want to go out of your way for, and in general, uh, if a silver is right in the way, you definitely want to collect it, and if it's not too far out of the way, if it's not more than, say, half a second to a second, you also want to get that, and otherwise you will not end up with enough. Uh, luckily, there's plenty of routes over safely in this game. Right there, what you saw in 1-3 was a portal exit. Uh, the portals, uh, if you go into the first portal and collect all of the coins, uh, you enter an exit portal and go to a secret level like this where you can flip the gravity using the gravity flip tokens. Each world also ends with a boss or skull level. Uh, the boss levels are a lot longer than the rest of the levels uh, and generally a lot harder to. Uh, this, they also basically rehash uh, all of the uh, mechanics from the world. For example, this one has moving platforms and uh, spikes on platforms and the saws. Uh, now, earlier in the level, we did an intentional restart, and that uh, just allows the cycle to reset and gives it a, a much more favorable cycle to make it through the end of the level. Depending on how much silver you want to collect in this level, you can actually restart uh, intentionally up to three times to make the cycles better and just go faster, but because we need enough silver in this category, it's faster to just wait it out and get the... A uh, general rule of thumb is that you want at least 85 uh, uh, or, or at least 100 world number uh, followed by uh, or minus 15 uh, in terms of how much silver you have by the end of a world. Uh, so that's 85, 185, 285, etc. Uh, world 2 uh, introduces us to these green up arrows. Uh, the green arrows will allow you to regain your double jump uh, and will also boost you upwards or in the direction that they are facing, such as those down arrows on the top there uh, will propel you downwards uh, and usually to your death, so we want to go above them. Uh, now, a recent reroute of this category has been going into 2-3 instead of 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's just a few seconds faster, uh, gives us uh, better opportunities to get fast silvers. Uh, this last section of this level has a lot of down arrows that we generally want to avoid as much as possible. I think I missed it. Somewhat earlier in a earlier run, but uh, it's uh, there are consistent strats to get through all of these levels. Uh, now we go to two five. This is the last level. 
level in this world that we're going to see. Uh, other categories, of course, have a lot more levels to look at. In 2.5, uh, it introduces these disappearing platforms. They're kind of beige, I guess. I'm colorblind, so I wouldn't know. Uh, and they disappear after a short while of standing on them. Generally, in this uh, level, we want to get almost all of the silver if we can, if not actually just getting all of it. Uh, so I slow down at a couple points to get it because it's, again, that half second to a second rule. Uh, huh. And now we're boss level of the world. Uh, this actually appears at first to be an auto-scroller. Uh, although standing at the very front of the screen allows you to speed up and slow down the auto-scroller, uh, just depending on where you are. And right there we skip the second half of it to, first of all, skip half of an auto-scroller, and second of all, gain those extra nine silvers in that room that are otherwise uh, not gotten. Uh, now, the end of this level is also a vertical auto-scroller, which is uh, also sped up by going to the very top of the screen this time. So I'm trying to stay as high on the screen as possible here, and right here, uh, there's a better cycle that I can make that lets me speed it up even more, but I just missed it here. Uh, and then there's a door off screen that you can still go into. Uh, the goal of it there, but overall it was a very solid level. Now 3-1 uh, starts off, uh, it's very similar in structure to 2-boss uh, in that it starts with a horizontal auto-scroller and ends with a vertical auto-scroller, although of a slightly different type. You can't really speed up this one because it's just a moving platform, uh, but you can get off of the platform early. Uh, unfortunately, I died there, uh, and that's one of the bigger time losses in this run uh, for a single death. Uh, but uh, that's just because I was trying to be overly safe in collecting all of those silvers. Uh, whereas you can just get off even sooner than that, and then you intentionally restart twice there to move that the platform from the beginning of the level over there to allow you to collect those uh, and it's just faster than waiting for the platform to get there and we do need the extra silver again with that half second to a second rule i died in the vertical section of this auto scroller too which is unfortunate that's also uh, relatively slow but in general this level went about as well as I expected, or could have hoped, considering the pace that I was on. I took it a bit safely there, I could have gotten off before that shot, but... Just wanted to wait it out to be safer. Uh, here, used on the map, I was like, wait, do I go to this level? I, re I recently had tested a reroute that would have gone through the top path of this world, but just slightly slower so instead I go through this I get this very difficult to find secret exit uh, and then go to one of the harder levels in the game actually 3b uh, 3b is another uh, portal or flipping exit uh, level uh, where uh, the flip tokens again will flip which direction the gravity is which direction the level is in general And you can do some crazy stuff uh, considering momentum and going through there. Uh, for example, to fall or move horizontally uh, faster than you normally would. Uh, the end of this level can be pretty 
uh, tricky sometimes, but uh, you generally just want to get through it as quickly as possible. Try to skip that cycle uh, of waiting and then just get out of there as fast as you possibly can. Uh, now 3.6 uh, has a... It used to be that uh, we didn't get this secret exit because we would have nine gold by now. Uh, but you generally, first of all, uh, it helps uh, to have that extra level. It's only 15 seconds uh, to grab more silver because you can get all 20 silver in that level really quickly. And again, that's less than a second per silver, so it's far worth getting. Uh, and additionally, collecting the nine gold is a bit slow, so we want to be able to skip that. Understandably. Uh, 3C is again an. Uh, this one is a really high paced one because of the lasers chasing you. But we can get all 20 goals and get out of there really quickly. Uh, record is under 8 seconds or under 9 seconds, but uh, to get all the silver, about 13. And then you're on to the last level of the world, uh, Hidden Agenda. This whole entire level takes place pretty much uh, uh, at over half of it is in the dark. Uh, take an intentional death off that. Uh, if you want to go quickly, uh, it, uh, the easiest cycle to make is from the restart on that checkpoint. And then you can just go straight through. Uh, of course, if you can go straight through anyways, you want to, but taking a death there will automatically restart it, so you just go for it every time. Uh, right here, we're back in the light for a second. We get those five extra silver for purposes of safer routing. And then it's on to the final section. This technically is an auto-scroller. You're There's something at the very back, an enemy that's chasing you, but you don't really worry about that because it's just so far behind you. Overall, the video is that level to just remember where everything is, uh, know where you need to jump, when you need to, what is coming ahead. Four is, or World 4 is one of the more difficult uh, in the run, I'd say, just because each of the levels has a difficult uh, kind of a route or trick. Uh, for example, this one has the strange property that you need to collect 13 silver before the end to go fastest, uh, which is why I'm going out of my way to collect some of these. Uh, I'm, I just missed that platform a couple of times, but that's just a bit sloppy execution. So as you can see, I have 12 silver here. When I collect that 13th, that platform will appear. And uh, I think I fail here one more time, uh, just doing some stupid stuff. At that point, it's faster to restart or die than to go through the other way. Four two introduces the platforms. Those will flip if you jump. Uh, that is to say, if they're on, they're going to turn off, and if they're off, they're going to turn on. It makes for some interesting puzzles and some really cool fast strats, uh, such as one that uh, I attempt right here. Uh, if you jump twice there, you can get onto the higher platform and skip a cycle of waiting. Really important in this cycle not to, or this section, not to jump too fast because then you'll mess with the cycles and you might get crushed by one of the pink blocks. If uh, you would be inside of a pink block uh, or purple block when it uh, appears, then you instantly die. And I think I do that uh, right here. I just get crushed by that one.
Right there, I take an intentional restart to basically just line up those bullet patterns better. And that's that level. 4-3 is Return of the Key. That is a level that introduces a lot of keys. Basically, you have to get a red key to unlock that red, uh, this right here uh, in front of the door uh, to open it to get to the end of the level. And that is all the way at the end of the level. First, you need to get a blue key and then a yellow key. Uh, to unlock doors in the middle. Then the red key is all the way over here. It has a checkpoint. It's time to head back. The momentum we gain from going forward off of those moving platforms is enough to propel us pretty far. And one of the more fun speed strats in this game is to just try to build up as much momentum off of those whenever you can as possible. Now, 4-4 uh, four, four is one where I want to collect a couple of those silver right there, uh, uh, just to make the routing safer. And then this has one of the hardest to find exits casually in the game, uh, and often pretty hard to get to. Uh, right there I take those three extra silver as well for safety, and then I'm going up into the uh, secret exit. Uh, this one. Uh, portal exit is uh, pretty hard to find, but it is necessary to complete the game. And that unlocks 4S, the space station. Uh, this has a lot of gravity flipping just right in a row. You have to dodge those lasers pretty... Uh, carefully right there, uh, but it is a rather short level. Uh, I think it's the short run outside of uh, possibly 1A. And now, immediately after, this is the longest level in the run. 4-Boss, uh, Fortis 4 Fortis Skull, the Tower of Power. Uh, just an incredibly difficult level, especially casually. Uh, it just throws at you everything that you've seen before. Uh, I just failed this beginning section a couple of times, which was uh, really bad, but there's a much safer strat that I could have gone for that I decided not to because of the pace that the run was on. Uh, now right here I also messed up a bit. Uh, uh, Generally, the key to this level is just to know what you can do to be going more safely through the level, uh, and or uh, uh, if you're going uh, against, uh, if you're going for a really good time, just knowing exactly what part of it is coming next because it's so long that they sometimes blend together. It's the only one that even gets close to three minutes sometimes. Uh, and it often will exceed that, especially with these early mistakes. I think this one does end up exceeding three minutes. Uh, right there, we go through that section, not to get the gold, although we could, uh, and we did in earlier routes, uh, but because it's faster to do that than to go through the entire room, and it resets the cycles for the next room to something much easier to deal with. Uh, right there, you don't see it in the whole world, but the uh, uh, yellow platforms will give you back infinite jumps if you jump in them. Right here, there's a trick called the pixel. You just stand on the left side, and there's a pixel of that door that just hanging out of the wall. Fun to stand on. Uh, right here, I make a mistake. At the bottom, I just don't get up in time, and I don't get to the safe spot in the corner either. Uh, but that's uh, just a minor issue that I had. 
uh, this next room, uh, there is a quicker cycle that I could make right uh, at this point. I could go up right now, but instead I just waited on that to be a bit more safe. Again, safety is key in this. You don't want to die. And now we are on to the two hardest rooms in the level. This one, it's very tight to make the last jump. And even the rest of them aren't easy. And this last one, uh, those uh, green platforms will disappear uh, uh, in a rhythm. And it's sometimes very hard to make that rhythm. Uh, but once you get into it, it gets easier. Right here, I just jump because there's nothing else to do really and here I try to get off early but I just missed that by a little bit nice little speed strat that we've got and that is the end of world 4 now at this point I have plenty of extra silvers uh, again I only really need 385 uh, to have enough to really be comfortable with the amount of silver that I have, uh, but I've routed in some extras for safety. Uh, World 5 is uh, really just introducing the fire and lava, and it just, it's all a lot more challenging and a lot more dangerous than the previous levels. The checkpoints are sometimes farther spaced out. You can go a long time without seeing one in some cases. Now 5-3, we're going to see a portal exit, but we're not going to go to it. Slower to go that way, that would uh, be a way that leads to some faster levels, but you need 45 gold to complete that route. So uh, we skip it because gold collecting is slow. And instead we just go to the uh, end of this level. Right here I missed that jump, but there is an easy backup. You just go to the secret part. It's actually slower to go through, uh, but does have some extra collectibles if you happen to need them. Uh, right here I got a bit of a lag spike on that jump. And it just uh, wrecked me, but uh, that's something that normally doesn't happen in this game. Uh, unfortunately, that's one of the reasons I can't stream it though, because when I'm trying to record the the actual game, as opposed to just videos of the game using OBS, it lags really badly. Uh, uh, really horrible laptop. So I have to uh, commentate over it after the fact sometimes. Uh, five four. The beginning of this level is not as hard as I'm making it look. I was just nervous at this point. I skipped that checkpoint entirely accidentally, so I had to play this next part a lot safer than I often do. Uh, luckily, there are pretty well spaced out checkpoints in this level. Uh, and at this point, I know that I already have plenty of silver to complete the game, so I don't need to worry about it in the next level. Uh, thankfully, the next uh, 20 really easy to get silver anyways, by the you know, half a second to a second rule. Uh, but the key here is everything except for those platforms will kill you, and is really tight uh, in some of these jumps. Uh, but with enough practice, it gets a lot easier. Uh, and it's really impressive at the end, especially. Right here, I missed the last jump onto the platform, and I have to go through that last section again. Uh, that loses uh, about 10 seconds, I want to say. Uh, 7 to 10, somewhere in that range. And now we're on to the final boss level. Uh, this one centers around going through everything in the parallel world. Uh, uh, basically, the parallel world has 
sometimes extra platforms, sometimes extra enemies, in this case both, uh, every time you see it. So, uh, you have to use the extra platforms to get across that here. Uh, every single one of these uh, rooms uh, has an intermediate checkpoint uh, on a safe place to stand. Uh, but we go, f it's possible to skip every single one of them uh, by just going incredibly fast uh, through the level. Uh, this is one of the tighter ones to make that I often don't go for uh, if the run's pace doesn't dictate that I should. Uh, luckily I got it here. Uh, this one, however, is fairly simple as long as you just... Most of them are a matter of figuring out how to hold right the most. And this one right here, this is the last room of the level. You have 20 seconds, I think, to get through the whole thing. Uh, and it's by far the most difficult. Uh, just some of the jumps are really tight, especially to get through it quickly. Uh, getting it fourth try really is something that I sh should be not doing. I should get it uh, first or second try almost every time. But the nerves got to me on this run. <laughs> Uh, just to get to the end of this, you want to have at least uh, 3.6 seconds left on the timer to be able to get all five of those coins uh, and get to the end uh, quick. You only lose like five seconds from waiting. And uh, now we're on to the final showdown. Uh, there is a boss in this level uh, that will chase you. Uh, and we're going to take it as dangerously as possible in this run, although there's much safer strat. This route uh, was 20 seconds faster. Uh, to go through it without taking the checkpoint in the middle. Uh, so, basically the key is you have to collect all four of the keys, red, yellow, blue, and green, in this level uh, to make it to the finish. Uh, and the fastest way to do that is just to go around uh, counterclockwise, or clockwise rather, uh, to get all four of them without touching a checkpoint, although there is a much safer strat to get a checkpoint in between uh, several of them. Uh, and then the time just kind of slows down right at the end, so makes it really easy to see when it's finished. Uh, and that would be time on the run. So I think that's something like a 2730-ish, 2740-ish real time. Uh, in general, it's just, uh, the in-game time is just real time minus the load time of each level. Uh, as the in-game time pauses at each load. Anyways, I hope you uh, appreciate this uh, submission, this commentary that I've done over it, uh, and uh, thank you for for GDQ. Uh, bye.